Today, we are going to have a good old fashioned build off. I would totally beat you in a build off. And my name's not John. No, you absolutely would not beat me in a build off. Mm, I think I would, but you have better tools. I think I have an idea. Let me borrow your phone. Hey, hi. Can we borrow your shop for a few days? We're on our way. <laughs> you Just missed. We're coming. See it. A 21 minute slower route. Dad, do you want to take the scenic route? Yes, let's take the slower route. <laughs> Super. Oh, we're, oh, here. we're here. Okay, enough talking. Right, get out of here. Yeah. We made it to Tomobo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dad, since it's your channel now, what are we doing? We're, We're gonna have a build-off here. What's a build-off? And I'm gonna kick your butt. And it's a coffee table build-off. We've been saving these slabs for a while. Dad, where'd you get your slab from? Got my slab from a residence of where I worked at. He had it for a couple of years laying in the garage. He finally sold his house, wasn't gonna take it with him, and he told me to take it. I found this about three years ago. No, two years ago when I was taking the dog to the vet because he ate a magic mushroom in the backyard and in my pure panic made the wrong turn and found this beautiful slab on the side of the road. And my dog is still at home tripping. <laughs> my coffee table is going to look better than his coffee table. Teach you how long it takes to walk home from Rhode Island. Should you we wait? keep crabs talking? Like, could, could we block her out? Putting up a barrier. Putting up a barrier. Them. We're not gonna get it yeah. See what you did? That way you can't cheat off me. Oh, oh, oh. That way you can't cheat so off you me. Can't now steal you're not going to be ideas. able to see anything I'm doing. Okay, bye. Bye. See ya. See ya. I feel so much better about this decision now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so now we can do a... <laughs> We're here. I'm so excited because my dad is going down. Well, this was one piece before we got here and then I dropped it. So now it's three. But three is my lucky number. So you're going down. I do the thing with the finger to the eyes, but like you I can't do all the slaps. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Let me tell you about my game plan. <laughs> Before I can do anything, I have to actually clean up this slab. It is real, real gross. Nothing to see here, just cleaning my cracks. The bark's gotta come off, the dirt's gotta come off. I need to make sure the epoxy can stick because the only thing that's gonna be holding this table together is epoxy resin and a prayer. My game plan is to do something to honor the military, for the men and women in the service. Game plan is to square it up, clean it up, get all the edges good. We're gonna build a pocket to set this in there and do an epoxy pour on it. And possibly auction this baby off for tunnels to tower for a wounded warrior. Start peeling off the bar. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel bad because I do hear dad struggling on the other side of the divider. And as much as I want to help him, he literally will not let me. Hold on, Damn. let me just look, because we should. I haven't had him again. I don't need her help. She thinks I need her help, I don't. He made me promise that I will not look at his project until it's done, and I'm gonna be good and keep the promise and just listen to him struggle like a good daughter does. Hey, listen, you. You gave me the biggest shovel in the house. You're welcome. I tried. I really, really tried. Showed up, cut the slab to size, built the forms out of melamine, and uh, silicone, let it dry overnight. We'll see how the outcome comes. I keep saying, I'm gonna kick Sam's rear end. Slab is clean, it's time to get ready for this pour. I went around on day one by getting this mold ready so that tomorrow I could just focus on pouring resin. So I am going to caulk this piece of wood <laughs> to the melamine board and let it dry. And then tomorrow we'll worry about figuring out how it's not gonna leak. I'm actually really worried about this, to be quite honest. Well, friends, we have something done. I mean, I think I have more work done than you do. But I don't think so. Today was day one. We have like two days-ish left. The exact words mom said to me were, I'm so happy you're taking him for a few days. <laughs> Tomorrow we pour resin? Yep. Sounds good to me. So today is... Poor day. Poor day! Woo! 
Hopefully. I don't know. According to Instagram, I'm going to win the build off. We'll see. I want to get this done so I can show them how much better my table is. Yeah, I think table. you should start doing some work over there. Well, if I didn't have to Keep stop going. every five minutes to tell you how to do your damn project through a wall, yeah, then yeah, maybe yeah. we'd both be finished. I do. should have left the home. <laughs> <laughs> Enough right. talking. Let's do this. Let's get this going. Let's yeah. go. Day two. I'm feeling great because dad didn't make me wake up at 5.30 in the morning to get here. It's actually like 9 a.m. So your girl got like seven hours of sleep, so she is not cranky. I thought I knew what dad was going to do with his lab. There's nothing here. And I like honestly clearly do not know what he's going to do with his lab. She thought I was going to make a river table. She wanted me to split it down the middle. Give me an idea to cut one of the edges off this way if I did make the river table to make it look like it forked off towards the end of it. <clears throat> Wrong. Went total opposite way. I don't think she's gonna expect what I'm doing. He is in a completely different direction and as of right now, I've been officially told that I am legitimately not allowed to look at this thing anymore. Oh, really? So, it's gonna be interesting. I'm actually low-key nervous that he's going to show me up, like, a lot. Came in this morning and taped up the edges. Make sure it's leak-free. So you can see to, to cut open the, uh, where I have my insert, we'll say. You said you were nervous. What are you nervous about? About cutting into this thing. Just, this is the tedious part. I'm not worried about anything else. That went smooth. That was a little nerve-wracking there of the depth wise. But otherwise, so far, so good. Enough worrying about dad, let's worry about myself. So I have to make these like dams. Damn. I have this flexible stuff here. I'm going to hot glue it to all of the openings and then cross my fingers and pray to the resident gods that there are no leaks. Let's make sure that no epoxy is leaving. I don't want a single leak. There better not be any holes leaking out of this thing or else. Hey dad, it sounds like that CNC is doing all the hard work for you on this build. It is, you see? Work smarter, not harder. Well, I'm gonna choose to work harder right now, so. Get to work. Cover that boring slab up that you have. Oh, be nice to my slab. Who's on the phone now? Yeah, well, you know, I finished like an hour before he did, so. Now comes my favorite part, which is pouring epoxy resin in my slab. I was gonna do a funky color, but like I really want it to actually match my house. And you know that I love the color black and it's all over my house. So I think I'm gonna use black. And because I'm step pouring, I think it's probably best to do that because then you won't see all the layers in like the exposed areas, hopefully. The hardest part of this so far actually is not being able to be there to teach my dad how to pour his first resin pour. I actually feel really bad. I hope he's not struggling right now. I've never done this before. I've never tried it before. It's the first time going. I'm gonna learn from my mistakes. We use the clear epoxy on the bottom. If we have to shave it down, I'm gonna shave it down later on once we go. Just gotta make sure no air bubbles are underneath and that she's sitting nice and level and flush and flat. Only time will tell once we break down the mold. The first layer of Total Boat High Performance is done. It's poured, it's curing. I don't know, I might be a little biased, but I think it looks good. We did spring one leak. Got a leak, we got a leak. There's always one problem, child. I didn't do a good job. Sprung leak, but it was a little one. It was like really, really teeny tiny. I used some UV resin in order to close that hole up. And I'm hoping that there's not another hole in this thing for the rest of the project. But we have a lot more steps to pour because this lab is thick, so let's go pour some more resin. My whole thing with the idea of this table was I come from a military family, so what I was thinking of doing something to honor the men and women that served, that are serving, was to honor them and possibly auction it off for either Tunnels the to Tower or um, Wounded Warrior. It could either go as a table or as a wall unit. We're gonna start the pour soon. See how the colors come out. We just sealed the patch. Hopefully it's not gonna bleed through. 
it does a little bit, it'll look a little worn, which is good also, a little weathered. I'm happy with it. Very happy with it. Been surprised. I'm mixing my last pour for tonight. We're gonna come just below the edge on this pour. This way tomorrow we can do the final. We're gonna do a pour on the center, get that filled in. Same. Originally I was gonna go with the smoke gray, but the blue is blending in a lot better than I thought. It goes along with the ribbon. And I think Sam is worried. At the end of day one and a half, I'm feeling pretty good about where I am, but I definitely have to do a couple more pours. I think I can tackle the next section of this in three pours, but we'll see how it goes. I cannot see what he's building, but his enthusiasm is making me feel a little nervous here because I'm looking at my slab and I'm like, this thing looks like I took it out of the trash. You did. And tried to put it back together. Do you think we're gonna be done tomorrow? I will definitely be done tomorrow. Oh crap. There's no doubt. <laughs> All right. Moving right along. Feeling good. We got here Monday afternoon. It's now Tuesday night. We have one and a half day down, one and a half to go, but dad sounds confident that he's finishing his tomorrow. All right, I'm hungry. That's it, I feel like I was pretty easy on you today with the crap talking. He walked away. Oh, he left? <laughs> nice talking to you, I guess. Yeah, See you tomorrow, bye. <laughs> A lot of hard work, sweat, sanding, epoxy, damming, uh, coloring, stirring, waiting. There's been some some uh, some payoffs and some bribery. So uh, you, you know I'm not. You know these guys are from New York. It's looking like a good uh, table to play cards on, maybe yeah, have some coffee. And of course, uh, Joe's is uh, more interesting and exciting, I would say maybe, but maybe not. Okay, whatever he gave you, I'll give you $20 more than that. Here on uh, day two and a half, and we're really looking forward with an incredible amount of anticipation on uh, which table might be the best, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait and find out. This morning we came in, we did two more pours. We're gonna do the final pour tonight, and we're gonna buff it out a little bit. We're gonna do a slight scuffing. This way on the last pour, there's something to stick to and grab to. And then after that, we're gonna do the final pour, let it cure for a couple of hours, hopefully break it out of the mold, cut it to size, and then do the final coat up top. It's full dad mode day. Tell them where to buy it. Yeah, right on my website, because Sam doesn't have one anymore. <laughs> Do the final cuts tomorrow. I think I'm right on schedule for where I have to be right now. I'm happy with the way everything is coming out. Everything fell into place, not really knowing where this was gonna go, because it could have went south fast. And then I would have had to meet a river table, Sam. <laughs> Morning update, I'm feeling not so great about my project. I was feeling so good about my project yesterday. I'm like, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna get it done. And I looked at it this morning and I was like, there are two things that are bothering me. One is that I'm still working on the same step over and over again. So I'm seeing absolutely no progress. And the second thing is that because I can't see the shape of the table visually, I'm like, I can't tell if the table looks good or not. So we're gonna have to find out later. All right, I'm really hoping I only have to do one more after this. I feel like dad's having fun over there and I'm just here my life away. Sam is not finishing in time. There's no way. Slabs are too thick. I think she's making the pours too too thick. Her still might be wet on the way home. I'm gonna try to make this my last pour. It's a little tricky. We're step pouring because we only have three days to do this. And if I did a deep pour, we'd be waiting three days just for the resin to cure. But it's also, we're having a heat wave. So I'm trying to keep the temperature of epoxy down. Otherwise it can exotherm and that just means it basically literally goes up in smoke. So we're gonna see if we can do this. I'm trying to like push it a little bit and then we'll let it dry for a few hours and then it's gonna be time to sand. Although dad used a CNC, I think I'm calling it a CNC card. I'm gonna last pour on the mold. I'm uh, gonna fill this up. Let it sit, settle, cure. Pop her out, cut it down, and then do a, what's it called? Flood coat. <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling confident. Gonna beat her butt. Very happy with the, so far, the outcome of it. Final stage tonight, we're gonna be doing a flood coat. 
I'm going to let that sit overnight, finish it up tomorrow, cut it to size, rip it down, polish it out, and I'm good to go. I'm feeling very confident, very comfortable. You're going down, Sam. Okay, so I just finished my final pour, and I'm actually low-key nervous. I'm not going to get this thing done on time because I can't see what dad's doing, but on the other side of the wall, all I'm hearing is that he is crushing it. Like he keeps talking about how confident he is, how good it looks. People keep walking over there and be like, oh, it looks so good. Oh, the table looks great. Oh, this looks great. You got my vote. Did I underestimate his skills? 100%. Dad has a whole team. I'm like lone wolf on the other side of that partition, just all on my own. He's got like the coolest little cheering squad being like, go Joe, go. Joe, do you need help with anything? Do you need help with this? Oh, you have a little bubble here, you should pop it. That might be a UV spot treatment. Sounds like an excuse to me. <laughs> I at least got all the epoxy poured today, but because we only have half a day tomorrow, I'm calling in my CNC card tomorrow. Dad called his in already, so I'm gonna use the CNC to flatten the slab tomorrow instead of spending basically a whole day sanding. I think that's gonna make me feel better, but uh, I'll check back about that in the morning. Stay Come up. on, I dressed up I for you guys up. today. Yeah, we dressed up. We dressed up for Total Boat today. <laughs> also, I love that I'm by default standing on this apple box now to make myself look super And you're tall. still not taller than me. We are on the last day of our build off, which scares the absolute crap out of me because I'm pretty sure dad is done with his table and mine looks like it came out of the garbage. <laughs> so we're on what, day three and a quarter? Three, three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. You're, not, you're forgetting about Monday. Are you like living on a different planet than I am during this build off? Yes, I am. I still do not know what dad is doing on that side of the screen, which honestly scares me a little bit. But yesterday he had a giant crowd of people looking at his piece. So uh, how many did I have looking at mine? Two. Like maybe one or two. The back problem back is back you talk too much and you get nothing done. The problem is I have to tell you through this wall what to do because you don't know what you're doing. And you take away from me doing my piece Hello. because I'm too busy telling you how to build something. Well, I hear a termite on the other side of the paper. You know what? You know what the best part about termite is? They're hard to get rid of, so good luck getting oh, rid of me. Oh, God. <laughs> good luck, but like, just kidding. Let's rock and roll. Let's get this done. Final day of the build off, and my table looks like it did two days ago. Goal today, obviously, is to get this thing out of the mold. Kristen. <laughs> I think this was a bad idea. I'm getting nervous, you guys. Yeah, I think I might need help. So at this point, I am officially freaking out because the plastic dividers I used to dam the table and stop the resin from coming out are now sticking to the cured resin and I already have to do a lot of sanding as it is. So time is not on my side on this build. I'm gonna need some help. I'm going to be calling in the CNC card. Otherwise, I'm gonna be sanding for more time than we have for this build off. So let's get this thing flattened. Don't have no help for once. I got it. We're she good. She doesn't want my help. Out of my way, people. I asked if she wanted Don't help act like you're not impressed. And then after that, it's time for sanding and legs and finishing. Maybe I'll get this thing done on time. I'll check back in a little bit. Day three and a quarter. Came in this morning. Did have a couple of bubbles. We're gonna go through the whole process now of cutting it down, sanding it down, grinding out the bubbles. Ta-da! About to take out the little bubbles that didn't settle overnight. So we're gonna use a Dremel, we're gonna dig them out a little bit, and then we're gonna fill them up later on to fix this puppy. We're gonna do a UV fill to it. I'm on time finishing my project today. Sam's not. Sam is far behind. After I fill in the bulbs, I'm gonna put a clear coat on the edges, buff it out, and go from there. I'm confident, feeling good. I'm not bad for the first time doing this. Definitely gonna do this again. These are the table legs I'm gonna use on it. 
We can't put them on yet because my edges are still wet. Cheater! You need for it. You're a cheater. That means it doesn't count. You need to put it as a table build off. Yes. You could use it as a table or as a wall unit. Do not listen to the termite next door. She still hasn't gone away and she's right. She's hard to get rid of. <laughs> Somebody's walking home for Rhode Island and it's not me. <laughs> I flipped the slab over and actually the underside looks better than what I thought was gonna be the top side. So I'm kind of like last ditch effort trying to now make the underside the top of the table. But there are a lot of cracks and holes that obviously didn't get filled with epoxy because this was the underside of the table. So right now what I'm using is some UV resin and I'm going into like all of these nooks and crannies with a UV flashlight so that it cures so I can like bring this thing outside and sand it and carve it right away because we only have a few more hours to get this done. And I'm, I'm not in great shape right now. So let's do it. Now that it's flattened, what I want to do is I'm not liking that the epoxy doesn't look like a natural shape. So I'm going to use an angle grinder to contour all of this epoxy into the actual wood and make it look a little more organic. freaking out because we have an hour and a half until this book off is over and my dad is already done with his table and has let me know don't you worry he is definitely gloating about it in the next hour and a half i have to get this table sanded and get a coat of finish on it and the legs on it in order for it to like qualify as being done as part of this build off so wish me luck we're gonna do it we're gonna do it Here I am, sanding my little heart out, trying to get this build done. And what is this guy doing? He's literally sleeping under the table right now on a dog bed. I think I broke him. Also, I'm low-key jealous that I did not get the genetics that would allow me to do that. I'm the lightest sleeper on the planet, so thanks a lot, mom. Side note, like literally, why can't I ever be done with a project on time? I literally can never get things done early. Justin, you want to help me sand? Fine. <laughs> Calling in the troops. By some miracle, thanks to Justin, I may or may not have bribed him with like music, a couple bucks and a beer for later, but we got the table done. I got nice legs, right? Don't be weird. It's like a 4.58 on a five o'clock stop time type deal, which honestly is very on brand. We got it done. It's time to show dad my table, but I'm also like very nervous because I'm pretty sure that his table is gonna blow mine out of the water at this point. I'm very curious to see what he did. Dude told me he was making a river table. So if this is not a river table, I might actually be very <laughs> angry at him. So let's see what happens. It's five o'clock. You done over there? I think I'm done enough. I feel like it looks like a table. We can do this. Well, mine sort of looks like a table. It's on a tabletop. One, Ready? One, two, three. Hurry up. This is not a river table. It was not a river table this entire time. He literally told me he was making river table and now I feel like I took it too easy on him. This looks insane. Out of this world gorgeous. It's so creative. I'm actually like, genuinely impressed by my dad's table. I think it looks so cool. It's so sentimental. I know that like being a military dad is super important to him and he clearly has like put all of that love into this table. We need to like acknowledge the fact that this is his first resin project and it looks this good. First of all, I can't believe this is your first epoxy resin project. I thought it was your river table, so I took it easy on you. Oh yeah, I took it easy on you. <laughs> so easy that you came in with three pieces over there. I know, I know. <laughs> What are you gonna do with this? I think I wanna auction it off. Okay, we can do that. I think. I think that's great. Send the proceeds to, you know. Also, super cool that he wants to auction it off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post a link below this video. So if you're interested in bidding on my dad's table, go for it, click on the link. 100% of the auction sale of this table is going to go 
right here. We'll be shipping it to the winner and we will be having the auction live for a week. So don't miss out on your chance to win his table if you're interested in it. And honestly, I might be bidding on it too because it's really cool and like I might want to keep it. So good luck to all of you guys. So this was your first epoxy resin project. What did you think? Nervous at first. Wasn't sure if that was going to work. I'm obsessed with product. this. Like I'm obsessed with it. You kept all of kept the, all live the, burl, the live edge. The live edge, the burl, so good. my little island there. Even this, like Even that, that you there. kept the pool, the pool there. there. So pool nice. There. This kept looks so here. good. This is crisp. Yeah. Like that got cut out so I like nicely. the way it came out. It almost looked, it looks weathered a little bit, which is nice. I feel like a proud parent, which is weird because like you're my parent. Look at that. <laughs> Look at they grow up so fast. Yes, they do. <laughs> Did you have fun doing it? Were you stressed? Absolutely. I don't know. Was I stressed? Yeah, I think I was a little bit. Wow. I like definitely lost. Definitely got to do this again. There's no doubt. This was just, it's an amazing experience doing this for the first time. And having a blast with my daughter and the whole crew here, you know, at Total Boat, just absolutely love it. It's amazing. Hopefully it'll have me back again, but we'll see with that. Bump Sam out of the way and I'll take over. I like it. The wood grain is amazing. The wood grain is so nice. That is That came out amazing. Like legitimately did not think I was gonna finish a table by the end of this day today. We had faith in you. And I think Sam is worried. Sam is far behind. Sam is not finishing in time. You know what I like the most about this? Like we really made completely different pieces. He told me for like weeks, like oh, I'm gonna do my first river table. And then he like, makes the Mona Lisa of resin tables at Total Boat Headquarters. How do you compete with that? We're gonna call this the roadside table. Better than the roadkill table, the road I'll take that. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. When are I we think, doing the next one? Yeah, you guys sick of us yet? Total Boat, you sick of us yet? Sick of us yet? Come back. Okay, we're I'll gonna be come back. back. More. Good job. So proud. By yeah. the way, whoever wins this owes the other person a steak dinner. That's gonna be a big $300 steak. Okay, well, we I, that's my fault for not setting a budget for that's this right, one. That's right, you didn't set it. We out. We out. <laughs> this was so much fun. Dad and I have been looking forward to doing this for so long. I literally cannot thank the team at Total Boat enough for all of their help on this. The fact that we had access to all of the same tools for this and like a huge space to work in and pretty much unlimited resources and also like our own personal videographer. So thanks Justin for all of your help. I think that we should probably do this again. If you think we should do this again, let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know whose table you think won because we put up a poll on Total Boat's Instagram and they decided that the winner was... Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, friends, I just wanna say thank you because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have opportunities to do cool stuff like this with my dad and with these really awesome sponsors. So thanks for being here. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for giving my dad a place that he can also be his true, weird, creative self. He loves you guys as much as you love him. We will see you soon with another project. I say we, because he's probably honestly going to be on the channel again, like very shortly. Uh, but in the meantime, friends, thanks for watching. See you soon. Happy DIY. Joe, between bringing your daughter to the sites when she was a young kid to now, seeing that transformation, What's oh, like? it's night and day. I knew she had a passion from the first job she came on with me. That was like literally 19, 19 years ago. 19 years ago, yeah. Yep. That's wild. To where she's at today, it's she's teaching me stuff that I never thought I would be doing. You and, heard that? Um, I, I got to school the guy who schooled that? me. Did but yet, I'm that? still going to kick your butt with my table. You taught me some new stuff with some... New tools, how to do the epoxy stuff and everything this from watching it and everything. This was his first time, I know. So one of the things he was nervous about was using a track saw. This is his first time yeah, using track a track saw. saw. His first resin pour. Resin pour. It's, yeah, his it's first inlay. Inlay. Yeah! <laughs> Justin, get on in here, even with the camera. Group hug. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, where's the new member? Yeah! <laughs>